That summer was so dry. It was the driest summer I could ever remember. And all those plots I got in and I planted early, they had dried up. I mean, they were just dead brown. And it was, uh, golly, I was, I was sick. And every time it looked like it was going to rain, I got back out there. A little bit of a drizzle, any type of rain at all, I was overseeding. In fact, I, there was a couple plots I uh, had ripped, dissed all up, and replanted. Um, and like I say, every time it, it, it was raining or anything, any, even a cloud, I was back out there overseeding. That's cool. Four plots in Imperial Whitetail Clover and one of the plots in Brassicas. But you know, it all worked out because about the time that fall rolled around, it, uh, it started to cloud up and rain a little bit, and, and some of them plots that I overseeded started to really green up. So it turned out good after all. For those who don't know Dan, a.k.a. the Gray Wolf, he's as stealthy as a ninja, but as schizophrenic as the deer he loves to grow, hold, and harvest. In other words, from the moment that he enters his paradise, the last thing he wants to do is let the deer know he is there now, or was there once he's left. Educating deer can be your greatest enemy in the whitetail woods. That's why Dan doesn't even like hearing the crunch of the leaves, break of any branch, and definitely can't stand getting busted by deer. Which is why he uses textbook tactics teamed with scent control systems, and most of all, the noodle between his ears. 